Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well, uh, especially at this uh, difficult time. Um, I thought I'd come to you today with a bit of a rant to entertain you. Why not indeed? Um, unfortunately, it's that time again to put a plug hole in the idle experts and the naysayers. Over the years, I've lost count of the amount of times I've heard a small minority say that I can only take the pictures that I shoot because I use a Hasselblad or because I've got thousands of dollars of lights. And in some cases, they're actually correct. If we look at my website here, there are actually photos that I need to take using a dozen lights and high-tech equipment. This one of this KTM motorcycle is a great example. I think I used between 10 and 12 lights to photograph this wonderful beast. And what you see on screen uh, was arrived at uh, with little retouching at all, have, uh, other than having to remove some of the lighting stands and bits and pieces around the motorbike. But that's how many lights were required to light that motorbike effectively. In this shot for MSA fire safety equipment, again, I think I, it was 12 lights I needed to use. It was one of the shoots where I think I've used the most lights simultaneously. Those lights were needed to illuminate the logo, little patches of detail, the background, the blue light down the mask, many little factors and facets of the product actually required me to use that amount of lights. But what I'm going to show you today is all of the photos that I can also take with just one light, even one speed light if I had to, and in a small space. Photos that have nothing to do with equipment, but have everything to do with knowledge. But let's jump back to the naysayers and cynics for a moment. What I've learned is that ultimately it seems that it is laziness that is actually their primary problem. Laziness and maybe angry embarrassment about the quality of their work or possibly even jealousy over the work that many professionals produce that ultimately leads these naysayers to continually cite equipment as their primary reason for their failures when in fact it's not. Now to set an example and try and bring truth and balance to this argument, a few years ago in response to the continuous babble and nonsense, I responded with this video and showing how I could make a credible photo using just three IKEA desk lamps as my lighting and some homemade diffusers and a cardboard modifier. It was the perfect excuse eliminator because what I demonstrated was that it was knowledge that makes the difference and not necessarily the equipment. And a lot of people were grateful for that video. It made them realize that maybe they should stop making excuses, start learning and start doing. More recently, I made another video that was very popular on social media, where I questioned many people's continuous desire to upgrade and upgrade and upgrade their equipment before they'd even invested in their own ability. I explained that unfortunately, people were so obsessed with upgrading that they were often doing this before they were even capable of doing the best work they could with the gear that they already had. And whilst I've got no objection to people spending thousands of dollars on the latest gadgets, I felt it important to point out that maybe they should invest in themselves first before upgrading their equipment if they wanted to see real improvements in their work. But regardless of this, all the same old excuses keep resurfacing. They keep coming back. And you know what? I'm quite glad because it allows me to do this. It allows me to keep demonstrating that if you know what you're doing and you're willing to invest in yourself, then you can produce images like this. All of these images were shot with just one light. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. This particular image with the uh, Chanel uh, lipsticks lying in this liquid were shot with just one light. And the key thing is knowing where to position a light, how to control the light and which modifier to use. And I'd like to point out that it was a very basic modifier that was used to capture this shot. 
In this image of the liquid splash in motion, again, only one light was needed and used, and no retouching. In this shot, no retouching other than just a little bit of colour correction work, but only one light was required to capture the shot. This highly detailed image of this watch was captured with just one light. Yes, it used some post-production in focus stacking to build the image together, but I demonstrated very clearly how it was possible to capture this highly credible, polished looking image with just one light and in a small space. This food shot of the feta cheese was also captured with one simple light and one basic modifier. This shot of our model, the fashion shot of her lying in this pool of water down at the coast, was also captured with just one light. This image was shot with one light and a piece of cardboard. This shot was shot with one light and another piece of cardboard. This shot where we have rim lighting around our model and this beautiful soft lighting, I created and captured with just one very large soft box using one studio light. This image for an advertising campaign, again, was one light. And this location shot was one light and one silver umbrella. So the very basic, most basic of equipment. Now, of course, you need a light or at least a speed light to do this. So if you haven't got one or intend to get one, then it's pointless you watching this video. But much of the criticism from the naysayers are comments that argue that this sort of photography can only be done because I've got a studio full of kit and it's just not true. These images that I've just shown you can only be done because I've got a head full of knowledge and a desire to try, to test, to retry and a willingness to fail in order to succeed. Let me show you another example in some more detail. This shot was taken with six studio lights. You can see the catch light on the edge of the lipstick here that has a sort of warm gold glow to it. That's because I gelled that particular light with a warm up gel. You can see another catch light on this side of the lipstick, which was from another light. You can see the light on the background makes three lights. This additional stripe of light down the column of the metal makes four. This gradation light on the side uh, makes five and this patch of light on the front makes six and this is a retouched finished uh, product image using six lights. But check this out. This shot is just using one light and if we compare the two, the six light version and the one light version, the six light version and the one light version, we can see that the one light version doesn't look that different to the six light version. Now, how was it achieved? How was I able to capture the one light version and create almost the same atmosphere as the six light version? Well, it was achieved through knowledge. It's through understanding light and understanding the physics and the principles of lighting that allow me to use different methods and different tricks to kind of cheat lighting in the studio. Now, of course, if I was shooting this shot for L'Oreal or Chanel, then I'm not going to want to do that. I'm not going to want to shoot it with just one light or a torch. That would just be silly which is exactly why myself and many professional photographers use a multitude of lighting and equipment because it's our profession. It allows us to do our work more efficiently and effectively. But it doesn't mean that we can't do it without this level of equipment. So hearing from the naysayers all the time that it's only down to having all of this lighting and all of this equipment that allows us to shoot these pictures is complete nonsense and i hope that today has provided you with some evidence and realization that that is the case now having seen all of these different one light shots um, that I've demonstrated and also considering we have a blog post here on our website showing one light versus six light product shoot that you can see here and we have another great blog post 10 photography ideas that you can undertake with one light. Now with all of that information you can see that excuses are just that 
And I don't deal in excuses. I deal in nearly 30 years of professional photography and 12 years in delivering the very best photography education for all. And you too can choose. You can choose to invest in yourself rather than your gear, and that will allow you to see the greatest advancement of all. Thanks very much for listening. Get my completely free photography course with no sign up required. You can also access our free 90 page ebook. Just click the link or go to carltaylereducation.com.